Okay, hi. In this video, we are going to talk about public key versus service key in Supabase. So the public key is basically the code you put in your front end. So anyone can know about this key and it's fine. Whereas the service key is the code you put in your back end um, and it has to go in an environment variable and nobody can know about this key. Otherwise they can hack you. Um, Okay, so yeah, other names for this public key, public key, uh, client key, anonymous, public anonymous, and the backend key, service, secret, server. So this is the more traditional way to do things, this service key or backend key. Um, and the, this front end key, I think, is uh, more popular nowadays with uh, Jamstack and moving more stuff to the front end rather than the server. But anyway, <clears throat> oh, and uh, public key, the reason it works is because you have row level security um, policies that you create so that people can act only access their own data basically or whatever you allow them access to. Um, so like here in Supabase under authentication policies, you so you always want RLS enabled and then you would create policies. So update access for users based on whatever. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I'm going over four things, the different pros and cons as I see it. So feel free to disagree in the comments, but this is kind of how I see the different pros and cons of the two keys. Um, and just to be clear, this is how you allow users to access your data in your database, basically. <clears throat> okay, so speed of development, I think this is the main pro for the public key, because um, it basically lets you not set up any server code, and you can just write in access to the data right in your front end. Um, so speed of development and change, if you want to change things, uh, the more traditional way to do stuff is you create an API, which calls your database. And then you, on the front end, you call a fetch function to call the API. But with uh, the public key, you can just call the API directly from the front end code. And it's much quicker. Okay, so, but the disadvantage is flexibility. Uh, with the secret key, if you're writing these APIs, you have much more flexibility because the user has to call your API that you write. And then in that API, you can control all the data and you can do whatever you want in that API call. Whereas the public key, it's a bit tricky to, uh, since the user only has access to their own data, basically, you can't really, it's harder to do stuff like, um, cross user, where like users send messages to each other or modify each other's data somehow. Um, or just once it gets more complicated, this paradigm s starts to break down, unless you're an expert maybe, but for me at least, um, there's much less flexibility for multi-users. Um, okay, uh, security. So I think the public key works fine for simple stuff where users have access to their own data. But once you get complex, I think it's easy to leave uh, holes, uh, security holes. Um, whereas the secret key, if you just follow a few basic authentication rules, uh, you have a lot more control over it and less likely to get hacked since you control your API. You can put all the code in your API there. And just to reiterate, yeah, this goes in your API code, secret key, and this one is the front end code. So basically with the public key, just a little side note, you're allowing the user to base, like have full control over their own data um, in some ways. And it's easy, so it's easier for them to modify their own data versus if you force them to call your API. Uh, okay, and then performance, I don't know what you all think, but I think it sort of depends on where the user's located, where your backend code is located, and where the data, your Supabase data is located. So usually they might both be in Virginia. Um, a lot of services and databases are there. So if you have users in the US, it maybe isn't that big of a deal, I don't know. Uh, the public key is you, you don't need a server, at least you don't need your own server. So in that way it could be quicker, but some people might have trouble like it might be easier for the user to hit your server and then the server and data interact rather than going directly to the data it might take longer. So it can, I think this kind of depends and you'd have to play around with it. Uh, okay, so this is in my mind when to use, so you can use both keys in your app and you should probably use both keys in your app. 
um, at some point if it's a more complicated app. But uh, the public key you can use when a user owns all their data. So it's more single player game type thing or website. So like a to-do app. I just create my to-dos, I delete them. Um, it's just my to-dos. I'm not looking at, I'm not commenting on other people's to-dos or like I'm not sharing stuff for other people to look at or whatever. It's just my data. I control all of it. The app is built for me, um, the user, to just... Yeah, or like in uh, Google Drive, this is just my thing that I made. I can delete it. I'm not trying to, it's just single player. I'm not hacking anyone. Um, I just have access to my own data. Okay, uh, and then you can move faster. So if you need to build an MVP quickly, then you can start with the public key and then as it grows, uh, or if you need more flexibility or security, then you can move to a secret key. Okay, and then so secret key I think is better for um, if you're planning this project f uh, more ahead of time and you know it's going to be multi, more multiplayer where there's people interacting with each other more and um, you're building it slower with security and complexity in mind. So this is a more classic way of doing things. And so I think it's just, it's, it's, maybe it takes more time, but it's easier to do it right, especially if you're not familiar with public key. Um, but public key you can move faster and is good, I think, for MVPs and um, starting out. You can start with the public key. Okay, so um hope that made sense. Please leave comments or something uh, if you didn't get it or uh, if you have opinions on this.